gangbusters. Hmm. They were 9-9. It, it, nine nine. it was before Kobe came yeah. out. They got a big win in Sacktown. Disagreement on what gangbusters is big, for the Lakers. Big victory in Sacktown that night, and Billy Mack blew his stack. Yeah, Meeks for three. Well, Meeks, as you mentioned, Pete, $19 million. So, Whoa, where's he going? Yeah, Detroit. Oh. Stan Van Gundy. Detroit, three oh, years, $19 million. Kevin Ding joined us uh, yesterday or day before, day before, and talked about what the Lakers' approach would be if they couldn't land LeBron James or Carmelo Anthony or Chris Bosh or one of those max free agents, and it would be, oh, you know, more deals like like they did with Jody Meeks. Yeah, no, if Jody Meeks is getting three years and nineteen million dollars. Jody Meeks is not getting a deal from the Lakers if they're to take the path that Kevin Ding believes they will take. Jody Meeks got six and a half million dollars per year from the Pistons. So. That guy getting a whole lot of time on a terrible Lakers team when he didn't do a whole lot the year before. 19 million bucks. Things are going to be tough. Avery Bradley, career 9.43% shooter, two rebound, one assist, one steal. Exactly. $8 million per year. Four years, $32 million. Avery Bradley from the Celtics. You know what I would do if I was Brian Scalabrini? Start working out. Yeah, start. Get back now. in the league. How crazy is th- this is... This is how nutty things get when a lot of teams plan to have money because it's going to be a big free agent class like they did in 2010. If they don't get the guys they want, they overspend for nothing. Ben Gordon. Oh, biceps McGee, Ben Gordon. Hey, he's chested like nobody else. He was kicked off the Charlotte Bobcats last year. His wife got in a fight at a bar. He was kicked off the team prior to the playoffs beginning. It's like a week left in the regular season the bobcats are going to make the playoffs ben gordon is instant offense off the bench he is kicked off because he is such a cancer in that locker room two years nine million dollars ben gordon from the orlando so magic is this like okay you go to let's just say you've saved up for a month or a year or two years and you've you've entered some store to buy a prada wallet or something right they don't have the wallet that you've been looking Let at online for, for months and months while right. you've been saving your money. So on your way out, you buy a rubber one with a picture of Kanye West's face on it. And that wallet cost you 200 <laughs> not the 400 that you were saving. And then you grab a handful of those, like, blown glass hard candies for 60 bucks. I mean, that that's I Marcin wonder. Gortat, look. A big hey, I have a little of that in me when I shop. Yeah. You know, those. You just got to spend the money. Those creamsicle topsiders that I wore in here yeah. yesterday, they should have never been purchased. But I wanted the blue creamsicle ones. They didn't have them in a size 13. And damn if I was going to walk out of the Sperry store in freaking Century City without some topsiders. Oh, I've got money to spend. Yeah. I've got money to spend, and damn it, I'm going to spend it. And, and, and now I have some happening. Jody Meeks topsiders. Marcin <laughs> Gortat, B. He's good. <laughs> He played okay and in the playoffs. Tough, and he's tough and fun. He's fun got to a, talk to. He's got a glorious nose. Yeah. He just got boxing s- background. $60 million. $60 million. I'm not even talking about overall. I'm talking about in terms of centers. When you just take centers, which is a dying position, it's pretty much ranked right around ninth or 12th in all categories for centers. Like behind Robin Lopez and... Andre Blatch. Joe Kim Noah doesn't make $12 million a year, and Marcin Gortat got $12 million. Uh, this, this is not new. Year. It's I mean, not new. This has been the NBA for a while. I when mean, Rashard Lewis agent. was yeah. a guy who's $115 million bucks. Ridiculous things like Larry that. Larry Hughes. And then you think of Derek Coleman years and years ago. I mean, this has always been a story yeah. because these guys are few and far between. They can play, and somebody wants to spend money on something. John Concack. John Concack got the money. From the Seattle Supersonics, and that was the city. This is the summer of contact. Contact? Yeah, I mean, the idea is if the Lakers are going to put people on one-year deals, I have no idea how much those one-year deals are going to have to be I worth. Wonder. If you're giving out multi-million dollar, multi-year deals to players like Avery Bradley, who the hell is taking a one-year deal? Pau Gasol is being courted now by the Bulls, by the Heat. Their idea was... Well, we'll just bring him back on a one-year 15 mil- No, people are going to offer him 12 to $13 million bucks for two or three years because Let they had that money think. put aside for Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James 
and they're not going to take it from them. So there could be more moments from last season headed towards Laker fans' doorsteps this season, like Chris Kamen laid across the chairs or, or Kobe with his hand <laughs> only we could in, so in his lucky. face or, or the Meeks for three, the aforementioned Meeks Let for three, me or the, God forbid, Elevate Mamba. I, are we are we looking at a team even worse than that? If they have their sights set on the 2015 Kevin Love free agent class and then the 2016 Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook free agent class, I don't see any way around it. Gordon Hayward currently mm. is on a plane from Cleveland to Phoenix, and those two teams are going to battle it out. The dude that looks like basically a, a basketball playing my buddy doll. Yeah. Who averaged something like 16 points and four boards. I like him, though. He can run. Man. He can run. He's, he's fun, he's to, fun watch. to watch. Is he is he really going to get a $90 million deal? They say both hey, those teams are going to worth 60. What the hell? $90 million. So the point being, if the Lakers think they're going to get Eric Bledsoe, that's a max player. It's the same amount of money you were going to hand to LeBron James or Carmelo Anthony. That's what this market is is dictating and that does not bode well for the mental state of Kobe Bryant next season and a guy will never that, get so bad to where he, he calls, went to France last year during the season P he yeah, went to France but it'll never get so bad again to where he calls in he'll never okay. he'll never it'll never get that bad ever again to where he calls our show first to complain about the bus man. will however there be another installment of the kobe video guys might he show up you know at fashion island no, in the parking no. lot times have changed no they have phone valets robert f and sacre that's yeah. who i'm dumping the ball into it, robert f and sacre it can't happen anymore people are too aware of social media the liner holding the beer bong the kobe video guys those yeah. days those days are over but I think you're right. I, I think he's going to be a very angry person, and he might 